Uh, today marks 20 years since O.J. Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ron Goldman were murdered. Now, new claims O.J.'s personal attorney, Robert Kardashian, took possible evidence, a garment bag belonging to his client. Kardashian's ex-wife, Kris Jenner, responding to that claim. Could you conceive of him loving his friend so much that he would help him dispose of evidence? Absolutely not. Did he ever tell you that he had either done that or been asked to do anything like no. that? I guarantee you 150% that he had this character and integrity and Christian values and believed in the truth. Brian Claypool is a civil rights litigator and criminal defense attorney. He joins me live in L.A. Hard to believe it's been 20 years. And it was interesting to hear Kris Jenner talk about her husband, her ex-husband, who now has passed away. So we'll never know whether Robert Kardashian ditched any evidence. What do you think? Well, we don't have the garment bag either. And Robert Kardashian has passed away. So we're never going to get to the bottom of whether he tampered with the evidence. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to believe 20 years, and of course people remember where they were when the chase was going on, they remember where they were when the verdict came in. And you say that it all came down to the DA's decision about what? You bet. Remember a couple minutes ago you said your mom sent you a text or a call <laughs> and she said put your hat in the ring? I want to ask you a question. Has your mom ever sent you a text saying location, location, location? <laughs> Only like, in New York City. <laughs> okay. <laughs> L.A. too, though. Right. Austin's a good market, too. But listen, the, the O.J. trial was all about location, location, location. Imagine where this murder took place. It, it, it occurred in Brentwood, which is an upper-scale upper, upper white neighborhood in West Los Angeles. The trial would have taken place in Santa Monica Courthouse, which is a very conservative jurisdiction, a lot of white folks. For the D.A. to decide, oh, wait a minute, I'm so confident in this case, I'm going to try it in downtown L.A., that's like getting up off the beach and driving into the middle of a thunderstorm. Right, but it was interesting because Gil Garcetti at the time, the DA, apparently made that decision because he wanted to avoid any racial bias by trying it in Santa Monica. Right. I, I know Gil Garcetti personally. And he, he indicated to me that that was the decision because he didn't want any controversy, Gretchen, afterwards saying, oh, well, this was a racially based uh, guilty verdict. So he decided to move it into downtown L.A. Okay. What about Judge Ito and this whole thing and the circus and the sidebars? How did that play into it? Well, I, I think that this O.J. Simpson trial turned into a, a mini soap opera. And it, it took away the integrity of this murder trial. And I think people became more enamored by who was testifying, like Cato Kalin, what's he going to wear, what's he going to say. It was almost, Gretchen, like everybody was auditioning for a role after the trial. Yeah, no doubt. And Cato Kalin needed a few more roles, so that could have been true. Yeah. All right, got to wrap it there, uh, Brian, but it's so great to see you in person. Thanks great. so much. Thanks. And our own Greta Van Susteren.